Good Eva Room viewer, fuck concussion, and welcome to episode 11 of SOTD, the weekly roundup of Premier League football that absolutely nobody watches. Brighton travelled to Brentford and lost the game 2 0, which means Thomas Frank is very happy, while Mr. De Zebedee is very sad. Port Pie? Yes. Would you like to interview one manager and ignore the other manager because nobody is making a final decision on him keeping the job that Graham Potter used to have? No. Okay, moving on. Leicester City hosted Crystal Palace and the game ended in a nil-nil draw. Get in! Tell me about it. So glad we don't cover nil-nil draws on this show. Our third game tonight saw Wolves host Nottingham Forest and Wolves won the game 1-0. Port Pie? Uh, yes. Snooker Champion versus Champion Magician. You want some of that? No. Good man. Our next game ended Fulham 2, Bournemouth 2. Port Pie met the managers. Well, uh, not really, Gary. Why ever not, Port Pie? Uh, whereas Tony Montana is safe at Fulham, Gary O'Neill still doesn't officially have Scotty Parker's job. So if we continue with this interview, it's kind of unfair to Thomas Frank and Zebedee to Zebedee. That's not going, man. The mighty Spurs beat Everton 2-0, which calls into question their mightiness, as let's face it, anyone can beat Everton 2-0 if we're honest about it. Southampton hosted West Ham, and the game ended in a one-all draw. Pork pie? Uh, I'd rather not, Gary. Why is that, then? Uh, well, as much as I love Moisey and West Ham, you can't really celebrate a point, can you? And a point well made. Moving on, Manchester United hosted Newcastle United and the game ended in another nil-nil draw. Get the fuck in! Leeds hosted Arsenal and lost 1-0. Not even Arteta cares about that one. Well, I know I don't. Anyway, Slippy G's Villa went down 2-0 against Chelsea, which means our final game this week was Manchester City beating Liverpool 1-0. Uh, who scored their goal? Was it Haaland again? No, it was Mo Salah. Hang on, Mo Salah doesn't play for Man City, he plays for Liverpool. Um, I, I, I'm taking it that his goal was an own goal then. Ooh, wow. Wow what? That was not an own goal, Port Pie. You, you mean Liverpool beat Man City 1-0? Huh? Looks like it. Klopp! You did it! Yeah, 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 yeah. You found a way to stop Haaland! Yeah, 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 yeah. You beat Man City 1-0. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you ended the Premier League Hunger Games. Yeah, mate, now, if you don't mind, we got to get to the fucking chopper, all right? What? I've been sitting here 48 hours, you fucking prick. Brighton have just drawn nil-nil with Forrest, for fuck's sake. Oh, 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 I've had concussion. Uh, moving on, Pep. Come on, Pep, show your face and tell us all about our average Man City are. Because for once, you'll be bang on the money, won't you? Come on, show your face. Uh, Gary? Well, there you have it. Manchester City have officially won this year's Hunger Games, which means the internet is now going to be overflowing with Arsenal fans that have photoshopped the head and shoulders of Wenger holding aloft their invincible egg cup. Yep, fuckers do it every year, religiously. So, with week 11 over, we can look forwards to week 12, which has, in fairness, already started, and with Brighton bagging a nil-nil draw, Arsenal and Man City bottling it against each other, and Bournemouth playing Southampton tomorrow night, that's two, possibly three games we won't have to cover. Gishin! So until next week, or at least the next day, suck it. Uh, you still haven't eaten dog food or biscuits yet, you bastard. Pork pie. I have concussion. Give me a break.
Harry Maguire.